OMG, uh, hi Felicities, thanks for tuning back in to my channel, for all the folks that have subscribed and are still subscribing and wait, have been waiting for a video, I am so sorry, um, I think I mentioned this in the last video, but it, it Nonprofit life is really crazy on top of if you're like into gym, if you're a gym rat, like fitness, and for me it's not even about like the whole, like for specifically for gym, like looking good, yeah, it's nice to look good and get a big booty, um, <laughs> but the pump, it's like, it's a drug, it's kind of like the adrenaline you get when you go shopping and buy something new, and or when you do drugs, you know, serotonin levels and all that jazz, it's like, you go crazy. And so, I have just been gymming it, working it, and going to the gym. Um, there's been a couple of crazy things going on with personal family life. And just, I put myself out there and started dating. Like, that was, um, that's so interesting. I'm working on that. I don't know. I don't know if that's going to continue. Dating's rough. Uh, <laughs> no, I think it's just like... It's so inorganic, but we can talk about that in another future, but I am so sorry I haven't made a video. I'm glad that y'all are either subscribing, the folks that have been watching my old videos, and also the folks that have been um, following my Instagram, commenting, as well as just sending me positive messages and wondering where I am. Uh, I am committed to getting videos up, but I right now, I actually, I, I don't know what my capacity is. I think I do have... A bunch of video ideas but one big thing that's coming up that I actually want to put up on a video soon is I'm gonna be doing I don't know if it's like a blog sale but I kind of want to downsize some of the shiz I have like I have a bunch of stuff and I'm kind of I, I've been kind of thinking of letting go of a few things and getting my collection to like minimal the like the must-haves because like I told you y'all I'm start saving up for an Hermes Birkin, so that hopefully by the end of this year I can get. But then also I think there's just some bags that save sim use similar purposes um, in my collection. Like that, it's like it's a duplicate. Uh, yeah, it's a different different style, more or less, or color. But I I've, I've noticed I've got I kind of like fit into a niche with like specific bags that I use over and over um, and some bags aren't getting as much wear and I think that's kind of where I'm at so the next video I'm actually gonna do um, and this one I'm committed to to doing I'm gonna say within the next two three weeks is kind of like a bag collection video because but through that bag collection video, I'll also be pointing out which ones I'm going to be selling. Um, I have to think really hard because I don't want to have seller's regret. Um, and it's not just bags. There's going to be some other stuff too that I might sell. I don't know yet. But um, I will keep y'all posted. And definitely follow my Instagram at Peter's Renegade. You know, not just to follow my gym life, my fitness life, and see my progress shots. But um, if you want to see what I've been doing, what I've been up to, I post pretty regularly in terms of like work. I, I Instagram it and I think it's really, it's part of like, some, you know, it's nice to inspire folks to see that, you know, you can do a job that's doing positive change in the community and in the world, um, and that your job doesn't have to be, I don't know, let's say working for a corporate, an evil corporation that, you know, pollutes the community, pollutes the places where people live in, um, and I know some folks, some folks really like money. But for me, I really like people, um, for the most part. Uh, not rude people, but people. And I want us to be able to live in a place, like in a planet, in a community, in a space where we can breathe in clean, fresh air instead of having to breathe super toxic air. Um, and that's, that's what I'm fighting for with my work. If you don't know about my job, um, want to learn more and even want to support us and donate our small nonprofit, uh, we're ECR Communities for Environmental Justice. I'll link it down below. We have Instagram, we have Facebook. You can like our Facebook. Um, we totally need it. Um, it helps us in terms of, you know, like social media is really big and Kind of like when you like my videos and like my Instagram posts follow, and follow me. Um, it's similar to my um, nonprofit and I have a lot of love for uh, my, my organization and the work that we do and the community we serve, but also the folks we work with. Um, there's some really amazing people that you meet when you get to organize. And uh, I think that's why, even though I haven't been posting, like 
this is what I'm doing and I'm really happy with what I'm doing and while at times it can be overwhelming, um, it's pretty rewarding and and so I'm, I'm back for today, I'm doing this video, hopefully I can post this up the same day I make this video. And I am doing just a quick life update, kind of like similar to like my last video about what's in my bag. Um, what's in my bag, my AMA BB style. I recently picked up something. Uh, it's right here. Uh, it's from Saint Laurent. It's actually the first thing I've ever bought from them. And this was, I don't want to say, it was kind of a mix of an impulse buy, but I've been wanting to buy something of this type of product um, and I've been wanting to get Saint Laurent uh, to add to my collection and what I picked up I wasn't expecting it to be my first item or piece I would pick up from Saint Laurent Paris but I am very excited um, it so the backstory with this one is I was trying to get a pair of Louboutins but unfortunately if y'all know I'm a size 39 in Louboutin Louboutin? Louboutin? <laughs> Um, Christian Louboutin. <laughs> this is a shout out again to Super Jacob. Jacob. Like I, I will never stop pronouncing Christian Louboutin. Louboutin. Um, after his uh, lesson on how to pronounce French fashion houses. But oh, and quick, like update. Like obviously, I'm not in the same setup. I am actually on my bed with a bunch of comforters and the windows open, and my neighbor probably thinks I'm crazy. Like, uh, whatever. But the lights. The sun's kind of dying, so I'm trying to get as much light. And also, like I said, my room's kind of a mess, so we'll leave that there. But whatever. <laughs> I can't. Y'all probably think I'm freaking crazy. But yeah, I was trying to get these pair of um, Christian Louboutin. Uh, it was the top Um it's a, It was a really cute pair of loafers and... Uh, no, not loafer. It's like dress shoes. Um, it was kind of chocolate brownish and I had seen it a couple of weeks ago and was, was, was wanted to think about it came back in a couple a week or so later and said hey I want these shoes but before I purchase it I want to see if you can clean it completely because it was the display item and the thing about that is I, like I said I'm a size 39 in Louboutin um, and for men's sizes that's the smallest size so it's always going to be out on display the shoes that would fit me if they don't have one in the back in stock and so they tried to clean it and I came back a week later and Monica who's really great she's the um this amazing woman that works at Christian Louboutin in South Coast Plaza she got it cleaned up for me and she was telling me like no pressure don't worry about it we'll clean it if you like it you pick it up if you don't don't and I think that's one of my favorite things about working with a sales associate that's not trying to pressure you to buy an item but just like you know take your time and I was there today, um, I was there today and, and had, you know, I had time after, um, I actually dropped, um, I had some family stuff going on today, but, uh, I was there today and got a, uh, an hour or so to, like, look at the shoe and I was there maybe, like, 25, 30 minutes, just, like, I was looking at the shoe and it looked beautiful, it looked great on, but the scratches, they weren't hairline, they were, like, you can still see the scratches. And uh, far away, you couldn't, but at the same time, when you buy an item, whether it's a handbag or a shoe or whatever, um, a ring, like Super Jacob taught me this, and shout out to his like su amazing success story after five months of his Chanel bag, you know, like um, Chanel bag drama. You want perfection. You want what you pay for to be what you paid for. If you paid a thousand dollars, if you paid four thousand, if you paid eight hundred dollars, if you're paying a lot of money for this designer product, it needs to be perfection. And while I love Louboutin and that pair of shoes, the top Daviol, and hopefully I can find one in the future, um, in a different in a different color, whatever. I just I want it to be, to be beautiful. I want to make the marks on it and I want to show the wear. And so I was leaving and I, if you know in South Coast Plaza, it's like the third floor is Louboutin and then Saint Laurent is like just going down the escalator. So I was like, oh my gosh, I remember seeing those boots, those boots from that guy that graduated at USC. I went to my friend's graduation um, at USC and one of the guys was wearing Saint Laurent boots and I was like, I need to check it out. So. I walked in and I, w I was like, hey, do you have this in my size? I'm the smallest shoe size you probably have. Like, I'm a 
this shoes. I was wearing my dandy pick picks, and I was like, I'm basically like a size 7. And so she looked, and apparently in Saint Laurent sizes, I am a size 39, which is a size 6, so I don't get these freaking designer sizes. Um, and so I ended up picking up the boots, and so I am going to un unbox it now because we are totally, my light blabbing and all that jazz, my cheese, my time, it takes a lot. And I am so sorry for these long videos, but hopefully you're enjoying it. And I'm gonna just unbox this and talk a little bit more about it until the camera basically shuts off because I talk too much. So this is the bag. Avi, you know, this is shoes because the way the bag is. Um, it's cute. I like it. It's a nice shoulder tote, but... It's not, it is a little bit of an awkward size of a box, or a, a box bag. So, let's close this up. And I really love keeping these bags. Like, they're just so cute. I mean, they're pretty, like, substantial, you know? I mean, that's what you're paying for, right? And the light's going, so don't. Um, so this is the envelope that they give you. Is it gonna focus? Yes, yeah, Saint Laurent, Saint Laurent, Paris. And these shoes were, don't judge me, but judge me, were $966.60. And like I, you know, I, people say they're not showing off, whatever. I, I'm not doing that. If you're watching this, you must enjoy unboxings and just like hearing me talk. Um, and she also put her, uh, her business card. So if you're at Saint Laurent and South Coast Plaza, they're moving to the... Um, next to the Gucci store instead of next to the escalators um, near Nordstrom. Uh, Alexis was a really um, a pleasure to work with. I don't she like didn't pressure me, and I think that's one of the reasons why I I haven't bought from Saint Laurent is because there are multiple times I've gone there. Um, some of the sales associate I work with, I don't like being pressured, and that turns me off. It makes me not want to buy. Uh, it makes me not want to buy from you. Like maybe I'll I'll want the item, but I won't buy it from you, and I'll come back another time because I don't like being pressured. Um, and I'm not gonna name names, but there are some folks there and in other stores that just it's like, dude, don't pressure me. I'm gonna I'm gonna I need my time. I need my process. And yeah, so I picked these up, kind of a mix of an impulse slash. I am kind of on a shoe kick, so if, check out my Instagram again, Fierce Renegade, and you'll see like I bought a bunch of workout shoes, but I am like just really into shoes at the moment, and I might do like a, I only have like really two um, designer shoes, but there's a bunch of shoes that like I, I love, I love the shoes I have, um, two or three, I have a few designer shoes, but I am just, Oh, I'm I'm digging it, and I'm I think this might be the first, but not the last. So this is the box. Yay, Saint Laurent Paris, so cute. It's like a coffin. Seriously, like it's coffin chic. Like they're all wearing black and white. Like oh my gosh, like is that the aesthetic they're going for? Um, <laughs> so this shoe is called the flat heel. Oh, that's not the shoe. It's a. Uh, oh my gosh. It's like the Jodhpur. I'm so totally butchering and I'm so sorry. Culturally inappropriate and sensitive. J-O-D-H-P-U-R. It's actually a location, I think. Um, but yeah. So it comes with, I think it only comes with one dust bag. So I'm gonna need to ask her to give me another one because when you have shoes, you need two dust bags. I don't understand, like, shoes, it should be a requirement to have two dust bags. So hopefully I can get another one, but this is a dust bag. And this is, oh gosh, it's all like, cover it up. These are the shoes. Yes. So I'm going to take out only one just because, but I just think it's, it's like suede shoes. Um, I'm really starting to like men's shoes right now. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to buy any heels anytime soon, but I saw this at the graduation, somebody wearing it. Um, I think it was like the higher version. And so I tried both of them and they're both really gorgeous. And I was like, which one am I going to pick up first? I'm so bad. There is no reason for me to pick this up other than for the fact that it's gorgeous. And I, I, I like having a bunch of shoes to be able to rotate my, um, what you wear out. And technically you're not supposed to wear your shoes like more than like once within a 24 hour time span. So when you wear it, um, you have to let it sit for 24 hours so it can air out. So I'm super excited. It's actually really comfortable and... Um, it's just so chic, like, I was actually, I'm wearing my military joggers from Zara, and I, I wasn't digging, like, I'm, 
I think I realize I'm not really digging as much the bags. Um, as Saint Laurent, I think that's uh, that's for some folks' aesthetics, but the shoes, man, the men's shoes, it is gorgeous. And so, oh, I'll just take out the other one because I already did it. Um, yeah. So these are them. And just and I, if you actually see my Instagram, I have Sam Edelman boots, but these just like. Feel, look, substantial, and I love my Sam Edelman boots too, but I just love this style, and this is my first Saint Laurent purchase, and I'm super excited, and it's definitely not going to be my last. Um, yeah, and uh, I think that's it. This isn't that, um, I really wanted just a new pair of shoes. I know I was like going from like dress shoes, but I think one of the things too, the cool things about these boots is it's it's really versatile and you can actually, I feel like you can wear this very dressy, but then also casual. And I think that's why I'm excited to rock it. So I wanted to do, do this unboxing ASAP since, you know, that's how I do. Um, but like I said, thanks for tuning into my channel. I will hopefully be posting that video soon, but check out my Instagram. Um, follow me at Instagram at Fierce Renegade. And then also, if you have any questions, message me below, leave a comment. Um, but yeah, it's been really great being able to chat with y'all and hopefully I'll get to see y'all soon. Bye Felicities! It's totally gonna cut up soon. I can't believe I made like a 16 minute long video. What, what is wrong with me?